What's good, sports fanatics? Today's Thursday, December 22nd, and here's your shot of sports with Big Al. In the top games from Wednesday, the New York Knicks faced off against the Toronto Raptors. The New York Knicks were riding an eight-game winning streak. The Toronto Raptors won 113 to 106 behind a 52-point performance from Pascal Siakam, aka Spicy P. Also yesterday, the Edmonton Oilers faced off against the Dallas Stars. The Oilers won 6-3. The Dallas Stars were favored to win, but ended up looking like a bunch of big owls skating around out there and got their butts kicked. Both of my picks were a bust yesterday. I'll try to do better for you. In other news, Major League Baseball is in their free agency period. The New York Mets yesterday signed Carlos Correa, a shortstop, to a 13-year $350 million contract. The Mets have signed players to over $800 million worth of contracts this offseason. You could tell they're looking to make a run this season and win a World Series, but in my opinion, they're going to underachieve like they always do. Let's talk a little bit about tennis. Here's a random fact for all you tennis heads. Rafael Nadal has been in the top 10 in tennis rankings for 900 consecutive weeks. What that means is that he's been one of the best tennis players in the world since 2005. I don't know about you, but for me, that puts him in GOAT status. It's winter time in the NFL, and it's gonna be cold this weekend. The Bears play this weekend in Chicago, and with the wind chill, it's gonna feel like negative 11 degrees at the game. The Chiefs in Kansas City is gonna feel like negative six degrees. In Cleveland, the Browns are playing, it's gonna feel like negative nine degrees. And in Pittsburgh, the Steelers are playing, it's gonna feel like negative four degrees. I don't know about you all, but even if I lived in those cities and was a fan of those teams, I'd probably watch the game from home. The best thing I saw on Wednesday was regarding the Jacksonville Jaguars game against the Cowboys this past weekend. The Jaguars beat the Cowboys. As a thank you to the Jags for beating the Cowboys, the Cowboys division rivals, the Philadelphia Eagles, sent cheesesteaks to the entire staff of the Jaguars. I emailed the Eagles corporate office asking them for a cheesesteak since I was rooting for the Jags to beat the Cowboys but haven't heard back. I guess you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Speaking of the Eagles, their star quarterback Jalen Hurts is out this week with a shoulder injury. If you have him in your fantasy lineup and still in the playoffs, I'd look for a replacement ASAP. I have Jalen Hurts in my league that I'm still alive in. Luckily, I have two on the bench ready to ride. Shout out to my brother Andy for being a big fan of my YouTube channel. He's big in combat sports, so I promised that I'd give a stat for the day. Fun fact, in 2020, UFC fighter Mike Perry asked the DJ to come out to the Halo theme song when he walked to the ring. The DJ got confused and played Halo by Beyonce as his walkout song, and he was really embarrassed. Perry ended up losing the fight. Gotta give a shout out to my boy Gabe. He's the biggest Queen Bee fan I know. Here are the games to watch today. The Jacksonville Jaguars play the New York Jets today in New York. The Jets are favored by two points to win. And America's favorite basketball team, the U of A Wildcats, are back in action tonight at McHale Center. They're favored to win by 28 and a half points. My picks for today, I'm going with the Jacksonville Jaguars to pull off the upset, and I'm going for U of A to have a big win. All right, that's all for today, folks. I'm going to watch some more sports tonight, and I'll touch base uh, tomorrow with another update for you and also give you a forecast of what to look for for the weekend. Have a good rest of your day.